Hey everyone, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to show you how I made uh, this Tommy gun. I kind of had to use a cheating method, and uh, th these things could have probably came out a little bit smoother if I would have used more of a lofting technique, but that would have taken me more time, so I uh, I used some different techniques. Uh, let's get into that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a sketch on the front plane. So we're going to go down to um, tools, go to sketch tools. And you're going to go down to uh, sketch picture. So from here, we can actually um, open up this picture. This is a picture I downloaded online of a actually actual real Tommy gun. It has the clip and the drum on the side. Now I prefer the um, myself. I prefer the to uh, have one with a drum. So we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. So I measured this thing a little bit off. Uh, I used the center line in order to adjust the picture. Uh, I measured it at 65 inches instead of 65 millimeters, which it was supposed to be, but that's okay because we can resize it uh, either on the Dremel app or on this. Uh, first thing I'm using is the rectangles. And this, the spleen tool is, is something that I haven't been very comfortable with uh, using, but uh, I just started getting used to this. Uh, with this Tommy gun that actually helped me uh, help me learn how to use this. I realize that if you put the spleens closer together it makes it a lot easier to um, to adjust it and uh, make it more of a round shape. And that was actually pretty easy to adjust, so now we're going to just close it off with a line. I, uh... I actually went back and forth on the extrusion size and uh, changed the extrusion size multiple times in order to make the gun uh, the proper proportions. And I decided to close off each section to actually add uh, contours and, and different layers to this gun uh, so that way it's more detailed. At uh, first I wasn't going to make uh, these these little uh, grooves or I don't know what these are actually called but the, the little round things on the barrel I wasn't going to make them uh, but uh, I decided uh, to add a little more detail I might as well leave them in there. Now the good thing about making these as toys and G.I. Joe's is you can actually uh, you don't have to be exactly at the right measurement. Now I decided to measure them out a little bit in order to um, kind of make sure that they were even.
right here, we use the fillet tool to round off the uh, the handles and uh, this piece right here. Alright, right here I'm, I'm extruding from mid-plane, extrude cut from mid-plane in order to make sure that there's no layer uh, left left in there. We don't need any thin layers uh, left behind. And right here I'm going to use an extrude uh, revolve cut. Now I've seen these bolts made both ways, uh, sometimes they're rounded off and sometimes they're uh, like this here. I decided to go um, the easier route and just make it a circle. And right there, use the mirror. Looks like we're almost complete. Now we just need to put a drum. So right here it looks like it's a little bit off, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the link and then link it in the middle there. This is not exactly the way this piece looks in real life, but I decided to kind of go my own way here, um, kind of to make it easier on myself to... Uh, to make this drum look decent, add a little bit more detail onto it. Now that wasn't going to work out so I had to delete that and uh, this seemed to be the best way to make it here. Now we're going to place some rivets to add a little bit more detail in there. We want to do an even pattern, a circular pattern. And that's it. Looks like our Tommy gun's almost complete. We just forgot one little detail that uh, we'll have to take care of right now. Uh, the sight. Now let's go into photo view again. Looks good except for the sight here is uh, see-through for some reason. Let's turn it back to uh, steel. And there we go, we got our Tommy gun. I'm actually pretty happy with the way it came out. It's a lot better than the one I downloaded, uh, a lot more details in there. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save it as an STL file. I'm going to preset this up so when I actually 
if I actually get a chance to use the Dremel again, uh, it's I already have the file set up under the 3D slicer. So we're setting this up to print three. Uh, I can actually set it up to print more, but um, I chose not to, uh, just in case uh, one of them messes up. Just in case it doesn't come out properly, we can uh, I can go and uh, change the setup. So all that you see on the bottom of the guns right there, that is the support material. That that is sometimes uh, complicated to take off, and sometimes it actually comes off pretty simple. So, um, prepare the file. Wait for this to finish slicing, and then um, that's it. All there is left to do is save the file. And now we got our file all set up for 3D printing. And uh, that's about all the time I have for today. If you guys got any uh, questions or comments, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.